Hey, how are you? So you're at the Cold War Desert Shield Desert Storm section. You looking at that certificate up there? Uh, it's kind of high up there. Let me get these round these sh shell casings out. Yeah, what that is is a uh, shellback certificate. I think you told me one time one of your relatives was in the Navy. They would probably know it or be familiar with that. Uh, so that certificate belongs to one of our members here. He was on a Navy ship and they crossed the equator going to Mabasa, Kenya. And when you cross the equator, and you've never crossed before, you're a wog. And when you cross, there's a ceremony the Navy's had for over a hundred years. And you become a shellback. And it's five days leading up to the final day, which is uh, where all the guys who are already shellback get to uh, kind of work over those guys who are not shellbacks and turn them into wogs. And uh, the guys who are wogs, they need to uh, turn in all their clothes inside out, uh, their t-shirt, their trousers. Um, the shellbacks, they take pieces of hose off the ship, they wrap it with electric tape on the end, and then they shoot hoses on the ship as you're walking around your hands and knees. Yeah, your hands and knees. You get up in the morning, they wake you up at four or five o'clock in the morning, and right away they start, kind of like drill instructors did, they get everybody out of there, but all the shellbacks, which you have a hundred guys on a ship already shellbacks who've been through it before, and they get you online, everybody's on the hands and knees, and they have you performing silly things, blowing out, blowing holes, out, blowing water out of gripe holes, uh, they'll pull guys out and make them do crazy things. And then the whole thing culminates. Now on this guy's ship here, he was on the USS Mobile, it says, and they had actually a helo pad on the back. And they had, uh, uh, you know, they had uh, King Neptune on here and all these characters. And they had you do some odd things. Uh, they collected food for a week and put it in a tube and had everybody run through that. And you had a... Oh, it's some crazy stuff. You can go, probably go on YouTube and watch a video of it. But anyways, that's a certificate. Uh, you cross the equator and it's a big deal, big tradition, Navy tradition. But not only the U.S. Navy, the British have it, and I'm sure other, Australia probably has it too. So it's, it's, a, it's an experience, but yeah, once you become a shellback, you get a certificate. You actually get a couple, and then you get a card, but it's cool. And so this guy was a, was a Marine. And they started off, they went to, uh, if you remember 1980 when they had Operation Eagle Claw when the hostages were taken, that's why they went to the Persian Gulf. And actually there's some of the stuff down here. No, oh, you don't have, you want to come back later to see. Yeah, it's because it's a lot, it's a kind of a long story. So there's actually stuff here from when this guy, this Marine, went over to uh, Persian Gulf for Operation Eagle Claw to rescue the hostage in 1980. He was a part of that. Uh, uh, Marine amphibious unit that went there, but yeah, it, okay, I know you got to go. I know it's a long story, and there's a lot, there's a lot here. And uh, anyways, but the shell certificate's cool. Okay, we'll see you now. Take care. Bye bye.